The aging process is an ongoing, slow, ongoing process and the cells, the skin, the face starts to age at 30. One of the things which starts to happen is we, if we are cardioactive and have a optimum body weight, then the fat cells sitting underneath the skin, they start to dissipate. And when that happens, the skin loses its support system. And along with that, the collagen and the hyaluronic acid, which is also part of the support system of the skin, starts to decrease in, and the skin starts to lose its support. So the sagging of the skin, wrinkling of the skin. Now the wrinkling of the skin is also excessive use of the muscles. The muscles are the frown muscles, the frontalis muscles, the orbicularis for the crow's feet, and depressor muscle which creates a jowling, and the neck muscle platysma which pulls the face downwards. We have Botox or Dysport. These are neuromuscular modulators which means it is able to use properly in the muscle groups. So if you look at this diagram, it's the frontalis, the corrugators, the orbicularis, the depressor, and the platysma. So these four sets of muscles, one, two, three, four, these four sets of muscles can be relaxed and by doing so, what you do the lower half of the face, the pull down muscles, when you relax them, then is a pull up effect. It's almost like a mini facelift effect. When you do it here, you diminish the wrinkles. And that's the key word, to diminish the wrinkles and the expressions, not to completely eliminate them. Because then it's a face with no expressions, no lines, and it does not look natural. The face has to be animated, it has to have movements, it has to have expressions. And so a good Botox, like a good painting, it's the artist's concept of how this face should be relaxed but not paralyzed.